Are you trying to work out how to set up RIP routing within an existing network that you've already built? Then this tutorial is going to be for you. I'm going to be showing you how to configure these three routers within this network to be able to do RIP routing. This network has already been pre-built and configured. If you want to see the video on how I did that, I have it in the description which shows the full in-depth for RIP routing, setting up the network and so on. But if not, I'm just going to show you how to configure these three routers to be able to do RIP routing. So to start with, I'm just going to open up and show you that these PCs can't talk to one another. So if I do ping 192.168.1.11, this will work because we're clean the same switch. But if I try to ping PC2, which is 212, I will get destination host unreachable. And that would be the same for going over to the other side as well. We'll have the same sort of issue. So I'm going to show you how to configure this. So to start off with, we're going to open up router zero. So everything in here is already set up. All I'm doing is setting up the RIP routing. So I'm going to come into CLI. I'm going to type enable conf t. And now I need to get into the router RIP settings. So I'm going to type router RIP. And now I'm in the config for the router for this. I want to do version one. And now within router zero, I need to tell it three networks. I need to tell it the switch one here. So I do 192.168.1.0. And then I need to tell it this one up here, which goes across to router one. So to do so, oops, I forgot to put in network. I just realized there was an error. You need to write network and then the IP address. So I'm going to do the next one, which is 10.0.0.0. .0 .0. So now I've configured RIP routing in the first one. I've told the router to configure RIP, I've set the version, and then I've given it its two networks that it needs to know. So now in router one, I have to give it three networks. So I'm gonna press enable, I'm gonna enter, type enable, conf t, and now I need to set into router RIP. I want to use version one, I need to now tell it our network here with this switch. So this is 2.1. So I would do network 192.168.2.0. And then I need to tell it our 10 network and our 11 network because they're my two outgoing. So if you've got different outgoing, you've got to tell it your outgoing ones. So here I would do network 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And then I'm just going to do the up arrow, go across and change that to 11, just because I only got to change one number there. I'm going to press enter. So now I've configured router one. I'm going to type exit. I'm going to do exit again, write memory and exit. So now I need to configure my router two. So it's the same process again. I'll go into CLI. I'll press enable. I need to type in enable conf t router rip uh, version one. And I need to tell it my network for the switch here. So that is network 192.168.3.0. Enter. And then all I need to do is tell it the 11 network up here. So network 11.0.0.0. Enter. Exit exit, right memory, exit. Okay, so I've now configured our three routers to have RIP routing. So I'm gonna open up PC0 again, come into command prompt, and I'm gonna run that above command again. Now the first one will fail because it's doing the ARP broadcast, but then the rest should work successfully, and they have. So that has worked successfully. We can try pinging the other side of the network too, just for safe measures. And this should have the same issue of the first one fails and then the rest work because it's got to do the ARP broadcast and it has worked successfully. And just to note that the next time I run it, all of them are successful because it only has to do that ARP broadcast in the very first time. So yeah, so that is how you can configure ARP, I'm sorry, configure RIP routing within three different routers or more within Cisco Packet Tracer. If you did want to do the full tutorial where I show how I set up all of these routers, the switches and the PCs, I have that in the description and that one also shows the RIP routing. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped. If you've got any video suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comments. And if not, I will see you in the next one.
Bye.